I have with me in studio Ty Barnett. How are you? All is well. And Ty's back. I interviewed Ty on my TV show, The Fallen State. Dot TV, and you should check it out. Very interesting. He is a comedian, actor, and writer. He appeared on Comedy Central, The Tonight Show with Jay Leno, and has opened for Donna Summers. Yeah, yeah. Looking a for some hot stuff, loving tonight. <laughs> 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 All right, there you go. You still got some soul in you. That's what's up. Welcome back, man. Thank you, bro. Uh, I'm glad you're here. Um, so I was just telling you, you see the contact in my studio here. Yeah. I'm, and, uh, yeah. And you asked that I pick cotton, and I told you yes. I was born on a plantation in Alabama right outside of Montgomery under the Jim Crow laws. I grew up under those laws, right. and you were stunned. I was, uh, be, because uh, uh, if I went by our last interview, uh, it sounded like you did not have any exposure to any negativity of being a black person. That's that's what it sounded like to me with the defending of everything that's going on in this country. Like, there was not one thing you said that was that white people, racist white, let me be very clear, racist <laughs> white people have ever done. And that's what it sounded like before. So to see this and to see the sign, I, I'm, I'm, I was a little stunned. I didn't know you picked cotton. I give you, I give you props for coming up out of that because I was never around that. So I got to give you, I'll give you nothing but credit for coming up out of that. What, uh, and twice a year, the boys would be taken out of school to plant the crop and then to harvest, to bring it in. Right. And, um, so what do you imagine that life was like? What do you think was going on back then? I, I don't see anything good coming out of it. I see you forcing people, families, kids, women uh, to do something that they didn't want to do, all for the betterment of someone else. And, you, and it basically helped build this country. Like, that's a fact. Like, Where do you get that impression from? History. Uh, this, this is all. This is all historical. This is all stuff you can look up. Why? So you think? So who? Wait. Let me ask something. Who believe, did you pick cotton for? Did you, you believe, pick cotton for yourself? No. Who'd you pick it for? For the guy, the uh, the people that own the plantation. On the plantation, that, right? So, on, yeah. so, so did you get a portion? Did you get a portion of the proceeds? We from got the paid and everything. Yeah. No, I'm saying, did you get? Did you get paid a fair amount for the cotton that you picked and helped building in the industrial complex of all that? Did you get no, paid? No, I did not. I did you not. Did. So no. you, you pick cotton for somebody else. Right. Okay. All right. They were the boss. I was the employee. Right. Just, employee? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just like... We brought a lot of employees over from Africa, yo. <laughs> just like the people who work for me now don't get a portion of the company's money. They get paid for performing a job. But they don't get the portion of the money. But they the can also leave when they want to leave. And we can leave when we want to leave. And no, you so couldn't. I, yes, you could. No, Look, no. Don't, do, oh, not me me, do not tell me now the slaves can leave whenever they wanted to leave. Why did you say that? Uh, you talking about between the lynchings, uh, getting the, their feet caught off, cut off, uh, between the rapes, the beatings, the why slave hunters, that, all that? Why do you think that during the time that I was growing up, under the Jim Crow laws, because there was no slavery at that time, why do you think blacks couldn't leave the plantation when they wanted to? Because they weren't able. You tell me, tell me a slave person. Tell me a slave that who said, "Okay, you know what? I'm out of here. I don't feel like being a slave anymore. I'm out." So when no, uh, no, but I'm saying, do they exist? Do do, do does any slave exist that well, said, "You know what? I'm, like Harriet Tubman. Let's just say Harriet Tubman for an example, right? right? So Harriet Tubman basically was like, "All right, you guys, let's not use the Underground Railroad. Let's just walk out and go down the freeway." And we're good. But when I was growing up, there was no slavery. Slavery was over with. There's always been slavery. What no, are you talking about? that's not true. And if that's true, why is it that... That's amazing that you think that. I didn't know you thought that. Thought what? So you think when I was growing up under the Jim Crow laws, there was still are you saying, slavery. You're saying you specifically right. had the right to leave. Uh-huh. You specifically no, did. No, any, any black can no, no. leave. No, 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 no. That, so that, then that, why that, did that, every summer... My uncles would leave and go to Florida and visit or New York or wherever they wanted to hang out for the summer. Again, are you telling and me? when my family, when my father and mother finished high school, they moved up north to Chicago. And so are you telling or me? Indiana. So you're telling me that according to your personal experience and your family, your direct everybody connection. everybody around me, everybody I knew. So again, I'm going to, I just want a, a, a yes or no answer. You're telling me that slaves had the right to leave. 
Just that's a yes or no. I'm telling you that there no, was it's no, a yes or no. The slaves have the right to leave. I'm telling you that m- maybe when slavery existed, they didn't have a right to leave. Well, no, they didn't when it slavery okay, existed. Okay, so slaves didn't well, have a right to leave. There was no slavery when I was born. Okay, so you're saying you personally had the right to leave, and you just chose. I'm telling you, black people had the right to leave. You again, you can't speak for all black folks. Yes, you can I can only speak for Jesse Lee Pearson. I can and speak for all black you people can't. under that circumstance. You cannot because there was no slavery at the time. And again, so you I'm, really so, so, so I'm going to ask slavery? you. So, so I'm ask you again. I'm going to ask you. And when I say slavery, I don't mean like in the sense of how it was. Back in, in, in the 30s and, and, and all that stuff and, and when we first came here and all that stuff. I'm not talking about when you were shackled and all that stuff. I'm talking about in the sense that when I say it's always been slavery, it's always been some kind of mental stranglehold, period. But no. that's a whole nother that's a whole nother conversation. There's not been a what, mental stranglehold. Right. Uh so what, 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 what you mean, right? What what I'm asking you, what I'm asking you is, you're saying and again, I just want to be very clear that slaves did not have the right to just leave. I just want to be clear on that first. Slaves, there were some slaves that could not leave when they wanted to. And and how did they distinguish the slaves that could leave and the ones that could go to Florida and Chicago and visit their because family? Because when they were doing that, there was no slavery. slavery okay, so you're had. saying during your personal slavery time of picking had. cotton. Slavery had. So when did you stop? When was the last piece oh, of cotton you picked? Oh, I have a picked? better one for you. No, that. when was the last piece of cotton you picked? In what 19... year was that? About 19, let me see, 68 I, gradu- 68, I graduated from high school. 68? 67, probably around 65 or so. Okay, so you stopped picking in 65. I would say, okay. give or take. Now, but it's fair to say the people before you, right, and, and that pick cotton before you, the generations before you, they were forced to pick cotton. And those that kind of bag right there. They right? were not forced to pick cotton. They weren't they slaves. They were paid to pick cotton. How much did they get? I don't remember. No, it, no, we, it, we got it depended see that. on it. Anybody on the show? Can we do research? Can it was according to the how much the cotton weighed, it's because I remember that we used to go like really early to the cotton field mm-hmm. while the dew was still out. The dew, you know, the cotton was still kind of moist, so we can uh, pick some of the wet cotton, make the bag heavier. But why do you have that impression that's not even true? What's not true? What's not that true? That when I was growing up, that. Uh, uh, blacks were enslaved in the South. What, what did you? Get? That's not true at all. No, 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 no. I want let me let me be clear. Let me it. be clear. Let me be clear because I know you got listeners that are, that are ready to jump on that and they'll be like, "Oh my God, I can't believe you said <laughs> slave, slavery existed in '67." What I mean by that is the mentality of being a slave, the mentality of who's the worker and who's the plantation owner, the mentality of we are better. And your job is to pick this cotton for a fraction of what we're going to make off of this and off of your backs. Now, again, if you tell me now, now, if you have something, if you have information out there that I don't know about, please show me any slaves, any black people (laughs) that were that were made rich or made equivalent pay. Like, let's say I give you an example. I used to work at a hospital. Right. And when I left that hospital, I was making twenty dollars an hour. About, no, I'm sorry, let me, let me be clear. No, no, about 18, 19, 19, 18, 19 dollars an hour. When I left, that's what I was making at the hospital, right? Yeah. So, Where was, I don't make this the, in California? No, Seattle. Seattle, okay. So, I, don't, I, didn't, I didn't make the money that the doctors made. I didn't make the money that the, uh, that, the, the, uh, that the head of the hospital, the owner of the hospital made. No, but I made enough money to feed myself, my family, and, and, and live a comfortable life. Are you telling me that that same thing happened for you and other black people? That you made enough money to live and support your family off of picking cotton? Yes. Okay. Absolutely yes. All right. Let me tell you this, too. Uh, when I was growing up, and even before I was born, one of my aunt got married. She had a husband. And they were black. At the of Spain. <laughs> <laughs> they bought land. And they got, you know, they were married, they bought land, they had something like 12 or 13 kids, maybe more. Mm -hmm. And uh, their kids never had to work in the plantation, even though they lived around it, you know, they bought Mm -hmm. the land around there. All of their kids went to colleges and universities around the country, mostly black universities at the time. And they became doctors and lawyers and professionals. And uh, this was, this happened, all of their children, I'm telling you, this happened under the Jim Crow laws. And my best friend, of whom I met when I 
uh, became, when I entered school, the first grade, he and I became good friends. We were still friends. He didn't have to pay cotton because his parents owned their own land. Right. And this was in 60 what again? All of my life. No, no. But, but so you, I was born in 19, I think 49 or something. Right. But I'm saying like, and you're talking about like in 19, so mid, the 60s, mid to late 60s. This is from the moment I was born, that was already in operation. Okay. So black people were not enslaved, couldn't move about. No, no, no. no. I, again, I, I told you, I told you again. But I you made said it clear. they couldn't leave and come no, back. No, no, no. I said, I said, in your time, I'm, I'm comparing your time in, in a mental Matter sense fact, versus. No, hold on, hold on. I'm comparing your time in a mental sense versus the actual slavery time. As a matter of fact, in my time, blacks were mentally well off than they are today. Most black people today are mentally ill. You could tell most the way they, people or most black people. Most black people. Come you on, bro. Tell the way Come they on, think. bro. You can't. You can't. You, you can can't put that on. They blame. You can't. You can't you put can that. You can't that put that on just. You can't put that just on. They don't take care of the children. Can't say a whole lot of black people, Jesse. You can't. What? You can't lump everybody in the same group. No, just like I can't say about, every white person is racist. Just like I cannot and will I not ever made say a that. Statement yet? Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. That during the Jim Crow era, that black people were like really having it hard, having it rough. And, you know, uh, like slaves, but that's not true at all. So the Jim Crow era was a great thing for black folks. It wasn't great, but it was a law that was brought on by the government and it restricted blacks from living in with whites or now, or, how is that a good thing? to go in the back door. How is it? But that wasn't slavery. How, but how is that blacks a good thing for blacks? Because blacks, it didn't affect their mentality. Most blacks today, as I mentioned, most blacks today, unlike the days when I was growing up, are mentally ill. They're mentally retarded. And let me show most, you how. Most, did you, I just want to be clear. You said most black folks. You said most. Right. Not, not all, some. Not all. Not, not some. All. Right, you said most. most black folks are mentally ill or retarded. Yes. Okay. May I give you, to tell you why? When I was growing up, for the most part, black Americans got married rather than having their children out of wedlock. So you're today, mentally retarded for having a kid today, out of wedlock. Today, most black children are born out of wedlock. Is that mentally retarded or not? So, so, or not? Okay, so let me ask you something. Let me is ask, that, let me, let me is ask that you common sense? No, answer that first, and then you can ask me. No, it's not it, mental retardation if you have a kid out of wedlock. How does a sound-minded person make a baby out of wedlock and leave it like that? Or even make it out of wedlock? How does I don't know. Why don't, why, don't you do ask, why don't you ask people like Trump? I, he, has, he, has kid, he had multiple baby mamas. He had but, kids out of wedlock. No, he did not. Is he mentally, is he mentally retarded? Trump did not have children out of wedlock. Right. Sure he didn't. Which, which, which one of his ch children were born out of wedlock? Which, which one of his three were from different moms? But they're not born out of wedlock. Right. You said here's, were, here's wait, my point. Wait, no, 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 that's no, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. You no, because you, you just glanced over true. something. No, you just glanced. No, you just said something that's, that's not true. true. You just made a. Let me you just made this. two statements that wasn't true. Let me you just it. said that no, having a kid out of this. no. Hold on. You said having a kid out of wedlock makes you mentally retarded. It's retarded to do that. Now, is it only mentally retarded if black folks do it? If anyone does it. Okay, so now let's come back to the because you glanced over that. Hold on, because you glanced over it. You glanced over it. Do you understand that that white people, Hispanic? people, Asian people, they all have had kids and they do continue to have kids out of wedlock. Are they all mentally retarded? Yes. Okay, so at least you're across the board because at first you just said that it's all black folks. I just so said all. No, you most. I'm sorry. Most. Now, again, if you're saying most black folks are mentally retarded, then you got to lump everybody else in there. So you it's, can't just, you, if it's everybody you're including of that most, then you have to include white people. So if you're going that route, then there's no reason for you to come back and say that it's just black folks so, because everybody apparently ha is retarded if they have kids out of wedlock, which statistics show. You can go look. Somebody from your thing can pull up the, the stats of people who have kids out of wedlock. I know a handful of white folks myself that have had kids out of wedlock. I know Asian people that have had kids out of wedlock. Hispanic people that have kids and, out of wedlock. And the point, the reason you're pointing out white people is what? No, you pointed out black people, so right. I wanted to point because out to you that all that you can't just why say black you people. You pointed do this. out white people when I point out what's wrong with blacks. Why do you, why do you say white people do it too? No, no, because you said that black only black. Most, you said you said most black folks. You said most black folks. Only, right? You said most black folks 
have their problem goes back to the mental issue of having kids out of wedlock so it makes them mentally retarded. So what my point is, if that's the case and that's what affects black folks because they have kids out of wedlock, that's what makes them mentally retarded according to you, then tell me the excuse for the white people or the Asian people or the Hispanic people that that the same thing to have kids out of wedlock. Am I right about most black Wait, babies no, you didn't born out of question. wedlock? Because I'm at, you're trying to justify No, no, you didn't answer the question. You, you have to answer the question. You made the I statement. Said anyone that does it is mentally retarded. Okay, so again, you're telling me. So if that's the case, then the whole scope of people that have kids out of wedlock, wedlock is mentally retarded. If that's the case, then you have to disqualify that from your list of things that make black people the problem. Let me ask: uh, Is seventy percent of black babies born out of wedlock? Is that most? I don't know about seventy percent. I don't no, know that. According stat. to the CDC, seventy percent. A black baby or the Census Bureau, it's all over the place. So you don't know that seventy between seventy and seventy three percent of black black babies are born out of wedlock. No, you don't, I don't know, know that. that. So here's here are the stats: seventy plus percent of black babies born out of wedlock. Hispanics fifty percent. I remember once it was fifty percent for the blacks. Among whites, it's thirty to forty percent born out of wedlock. Mm -hmm. Do liberals not understand numbers? Uh-huh. Let me see here. I'm, I'm looking up these. I, I know, know but we want to keep the show going. Though. Do, you, do uh, liberals not understand numbers? Liberals understand numbers perfectly. Are you I, let me, can I be clear? Just, just a second so I make sure I'm clear. I, 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 I don't consider myself a liberal. I'm a realist. So, so just okay, like be just, real about these numbers, and I'm and I'm being real, and I'm telling you, as soon as you tell me where these stats came from, because I want to look this up as well, because okay. I don't know your 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 stat line. Um, but again, if that's the case, if that's the case, because I can tell you right now, I was born out of wedlock. I'm fine. I raised my kids. They're fine. My brother was born out of wedlock. He's fine. His kids are fine. What I, made it, you? What made you think you're fine? I know I'm fine. I don't think I'm fine. Why? I know I'm fine. Why do you think so? Because I have raised my kids. I'm you have doing kids pretty out good. of wedlock? Yeah. Uh, how many do you have? Two daughters. Amazing. Um, and how do you know you're fine? You're not telling me. Because I know. I don't. I, what are you talking about? What is, do I need to tell you? You <laughs> want my bank statements? You want my, you want my education stats? What do you want? No, what, I, meant, you want? I meant mentally and morally. Uh, mentally and morally, I'm fine. Because here's the thing. I'm not the one that's sitting here defending. I'm just just give you an example because you brought up Alabama. Um, I'm not the one that's defending child molesters. So, so who is defending child molesters? The state of Alabama. How's that? Because they're about to put this dude in office, Roy Moore. And where's your proof that he committed? That, uh, it, well, again, where's your proof of that? If I were you, I wouldn't say that without any proof. Where's your proof? Say what without proof? He's, a, he's, he's an a accused. Oh, I'm sorry. He's an accused oh, child okay. molester. He's and an accused believe, child molester. You believe the women just because they said it? I believe that you should look into it. I don't. You know what? Let me no, ask you something. No, you no believe, let me ask you something. No, answer that the, question. Then you can ask me something. Oh yeah, do I do. You I, believe I do believe the women just because they said it. I believe. That if you have to examine every accuser, that's the same. not what I'm asking. Yep, I sure do. You believe them yep. just because they said it. I believe that there's a reason why they said what they said. You believe them just because they said no, it. No, I said there's a reason. Of course, there's a reason. Right. I said I believe the reason why but they said what they said. Do you believe he did it just because yeah. they said it? Because he, because again, it, he has not come out and said. First of all, how are you getting banned from the mall? Second of all, why is there so many accounts of you going and hanging out with these these teenagers? But, but that's not the point. That's not even the point. But let's no, no, just wait, hold on, 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 hold on. That's not that's right. not the point. That's not the point because you just asked me about morals, right? Uh -huh. You asked me about morals. Right. Now, if we're talking morals, me personally, me personally, morally, it does not sound right to have somebody go forward and try to be in office without an investigation that has been accused of child molestation. Me personally, I don't see why you would let that go through. So morally, I have a problem with that. You don't have a problem with that. The state of Alabama because does not I have don't a problem believe with that. it just because someone said. Oh, so it. you don't believe that you don't believe the accusers anyway. I don't believe it until the proof is there. No, so you like, don't believe them at all. Just like if someone said that about you, but you're in the entertainment field. These women, liberal feminists, hate men. Well, why does it have to be and liberal? They, why can't it just be a regular person? Because normal women don't do this. But normal women. Ask, normal women. <laughs> <laughs> if someone all of a sudden accuses you, you've been with a lot of women. How do you know this? You, you, you can't can make generalizations. See, all over you. see that, that's that judgment. You see that? That's that judgment right there. Have you been with a lot of women? 
I've been with a few. Have you been with a lot of women? I've been with a few. Have you been with a lot of women? I've been with a few. It's a few a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your stats on that, Jesse? <laughs> Ty, I before we go to the phones here, I read that you served in the Army yes. for six years. Yep. And so how do you personally feel about the black thugs kneeling during the national anthem? I don't know. Rather than standing Colin Kaepernick and all the black guys. I don't, I don't know any black thugs. How do you feel about that as a military man? Um, I feel like the they have a right because that's what I fought for. That's what every veteran fought for, for the right for people to peacefully protest in this country. At work, they can do it at work. Work starts when the clock starts. They can do, The clock starts when the national anthem starts. No, no. Starts. Work starts when the clock starts. So they can do it at work? You okay no, with work that? Starts, work starts. By the way, just, I'm glad you brought that up. Work starts when the clock starts. That's one. Two, they weren't even doing that at NFL games until 2009 when the NFL, when the military paid the NFL to show these, these signs of uh, patriotism. They were paid to do that. And That's so, a fact. Did you, you see that? And can so you pull are, that you, are you okay with them kneeling? Doing this national the, anthem. The kneeling was, you know who the kneeling was suggested by? Do you know who it was suggested by? I, I don't care who. No, no, you have by. to. My no, no, no. Is, Jesse, no, you I have don't. to. You, Jesse, you have to care because it's relevant to what you're talking about. I'm asking you, are you I'm, personally Jesse, okay I'm, I'm with going that to answer your question, but you got to tell me if okay. you know who this, who the kneeling was suggested by. I hear by. that it was some white guy, veteran. Who some, told white guy? That, yeah. some white guy? Some white guy. Nate Boyer is the some white but guy. Nate was wrong. The, so the veteran was wrong. Yes. The military hero yes. that was was wrong. Yes. In suggesting taking a knee. Yes. Okay. Well, then, then always, you have a problem with the military. If you know, why do you that, have a problem with the no, military? No, that's just what one man encouraged. But but one he's a military. He's part of the military to do wrong again. Why? He didn't encourage I you. I want to go back to my question. Are you okay with that? With them kneeling yes. at work? Yes. You are okay with that? That's not work. The work didn't work. Doesn't start until you punch <laughs> in the game. That this is before the game. So let me ask. Um, why are blacks not all, not all, not all, not all? Why are they so? He really easy, means all. Why are they so easily used to do wrong? I they, don't know what wrong you're talking about. Because this white guy, veteran, who oh, so I just want to, know, I just want you guys to see, he put Nate Boyer, veteran, in quotes. Who, so that's another disrespect to veteran. Who, I'm more disres I feel more offended by what are, you just did than than the uh, than people taking the knee. Who are uh, encouraged them to do wrong? Why is it so easy? They did, what did they do that was wrong? Mo black people to do wrong. What did they do that was no, wrong? No, answer that question. No, no. What did they? I don't understand. I can't Neelan answer that question because I don't think. What, I don't know what they did. back on the flag. On How the they turn it back on the flag? On on the military, how they turn on back the on fans, the and on their bosses. Let me ask you something real quick, just so, so since we're on the topic of this country. That bag you have over there, that, that cotton-picking bag. Yes. How many, how many white people do you know that had that same bag, uh, that used that same bag to pick cotton? That bag there? No, no, in white pick co picking cotton. Period. I have seen white people pick cotton. How many? But I don't know. Give me a percentage. Personally. I don't know them personally. Give me a percentage. I don't have a percentage. Do, do, would you say growing it's comparable? Up, Is it comparable? Going up when I was, you know, riding on the bus to school or driving around town, you would see white people picking cotton on their own plantations. Okay, as on well. their own plantation. Uh, on somebody's plantation. Right. I don't know if they're own. So, but I'm saying, but, so is, are the uh, numbers comparable? Also, Phil Robinson, you know, who he is from D Dynasty. He picked cotton. He's white. <laughs> Remember him? Good man, too. Dude, I don't but, like you, but I like you. Yeah, lead. Because <laughs> you say stuff where I'm like, I don't, why don't you where like you me? get this from? Why don't you like me? No, I'm sorry. Let me be clear now. Yeah. I actually, I, I actually. You totally like me. I do. Yeah. I, I do, which is, I, I don't I don't get it. I don't get it with you. <laughs> uh, but I just want to ask you this. Something, dude. Let, let I me, want wait, let me ask you this. people to be strong, let, morally, Then if, if you want them to be strong. Family lead. If you want them to be country. strong, if you want them to be strong, then you have to be honest about the experience of being black in America. That's you're not crazy. being honest about being black in America. You're not uh, again. So come back to the answer the question. Why can't you How people, many white people had that same I bag? You I don't have a number. I don't know. Okay, a so can we say historically? Is it fair to say historically? All right, that white people have not had to carry that bag the same rate as black people. Is, is that I have fair to no say? No idea. Come I on, can't Jesse. answer if I don't come know. Come on, Jesse. I, if I don't know, why can't I just say I don't know? Because it's not, because you know, wait a minute, because on one end, you just told me all black people, well, most I, black people do this. Then you told me that men, black people are mentally retarded because they have kids out of will. Like, so you, you, you have no that. problem not giving me generalizations me about black folks. Let me tell you why black people, most blacks are mentally retarded. Do you see what I just said? But you cannot tell me, me tell how many why. white folks. They are mentally retarded because they are angry. 
And Everybody's angry. And anger retards. Everybody the mind. is angry. Everybody do you is under, angry. do you see how many Everybody uh, is how not many angry. what about those white folks that were in Charlottesville twice Why you with keep tiki torches? Out the white people? Because you keep talking about only black people. Wanna, That's my point. Because I'm black. Yes. And I'm trying to help you people wake up. No, no. See, you just said, yeah, you people. Right. You said, I'm black, but I want to help you people wake up. Right. Aren't you black too? So shouldn't we all want to wake up? I'm, our, I'm I am awake. That's why I'm trying to wake I'm you up. guys up. I'm up. I'm, I've been awake for a long awake. time. Yeah. Your eyes I have are a long open, time. But, you, but you still haven't asked my question. So I want to answer your I question. I don't know. I, I want to answer. Okay. So here's my whole point of why I said, since you didn't want to answer the question, which is a good tactic. I like that. Um, I said since, I don't know. Since, since white folks have not had, the, since black folks have not had the same experience in this country as white folks, that's fair to, is that fair to say that black folks have not had the exact same experience uh, treatment in this country as white folks. Is that fair to say? When it comes to out of wetlock birth, whites, they're starting to have it, but for the most part, they have not. When it comes to blaming others and wanting affirmative action because you're black, whites haven't had those experiences. They haven't had what experience? Having, having civil rights leaders to tell them how to think and act, being okay with being immoral, um, they haven't had those experiences. They're starting they, to I don't, have I don't think I don't think white folks have ever had a problem with their civil rights as an issue as black folks. <laughs> but the one. blacks who are complaining have not had civil rights issues. Are you talking about the people that were complaining that oh, had to carry guys. those bags, anyone that passed, got whipped, anyone that passed. got redlined? That that any 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 of those kind of discriminatory practices, any of that. If they, so that's not a thing to complain about. It was the, if they paid their bills, they wouldn't have that problem. <laughs> Let's go to phones, bro. I think so. <laughs> Let's go to phones. I do want to ask you one quick question. Uh, you grew up in Chicago, <laughs> yes, or born there at least. Born and raised in Chicago. Yes. Um, are South you happy? And are you happy that the Great White Hope is? Uh, going to help Chicago blacks overcome the violence. Who's and the, the great white hope? Uh, the president. You know what I'm talking about. Who? Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> Man, are go you, ahead. Ask, ask, ask your next question, Are bro. you happy that <laughs> he, unlike the fallen Messiah, Barack Obama, or any other black person, that His he, name, You heard that. He said, unlike Barack Obama or any other black person. I just want to be clear that I heard that. The fallen Messiah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Donald Trump is going to help blacks in those communities there. Are you happy about that? I don't know. Uh, first of all, let me, can I ask you this? I, no, I don't you think don't so. You don't answer a question. No, I answer a question. No, I don't think you will. Uh, and I, the, You're not do, happy about that? Um, well, let me ask you this. How, how, are you happy about that? Happy about what? He's going to help clean up the, the drugs and the drug dealers and the gang members in those neighborhoods so that good I, I lives can live well. I, I don't, I don't are think, you happy about that? I don't think he's doing it. Are you happy about it? I, I would be happy if that would happen. Oh, okay. Oh, and by the way, the water in Flint is still bad. Right. And who runs Flint? Black people. No, the president. Black people. The president. Black people. The president. The water was already messed up before Donald Trump became president. So he said, I'm going to clean it up. He went to, he went to Michigan. Messiah. He went to Michigan. Under and the it's, still, and it's still bad. So the CDC back in 2015, out of wetlock birth, whites were 29 you're lying. Blacks was maybe the CDC may be lying. Blacks seventy one percent. Hispanics fifty three percent. One quick question, so we go to the phone. Is it best to be born with a father and a mother in the home to raise you, or out of wedlock? It depends on how the parents are. Which is best? If the parents are good, both. Which I'm sorry. If the parents are good parents, both. But the best way is. Uh, I just said, if, if the parents are good parents, okay. you got a good mom and a good dad, and they raise you well, then both is great. But if you got an abusive mom or abusive dad, what's the point of having them both? Let me go to Dennis out of New Hampshire. Dennis, thanks for calling us. Thanks for holding. You're on with Ty. Hello. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, what I really would like to know in listening to you, what, what, I'm sorry, your first name is Ty? Yeah. Yes. Okay. What is it that you want? May I ask you that? What All of this anger and all of this animosity about white people and what we've done, what is it you want from us? What anger? Tell That's me, a please. good question. What anger are you talking about? What do most black people want from white people? They keep accusing them for everything. No, no, I just want to make sure that, that just so we're clear, uh, there's no anger. I'm just stating facts, just so we're clear. Uh, what's wanted... I would say if it was if, if you're asking me personally, because I can't speak for all black folks, I can't do that. Uh, I want acknowledgement. 
of, of the issues that, that are in this country. There, I mean, every day you see something. Every day you see something that is a discrepancy in how we treat each other as human beings. Now, I want to say it again. Okay, stop. In how we, no, no, no. Don't, first of all, don't tell me to stop. You, you're not my, my dad, so stop. Let, let me finish saying what I'm saying. When I say, I said everyone, there should be equality. We know historically there has never been equality in this country. Historically. These are all facts. This is not something I'm making what up. What is equality? Everyone being treated the same. What is no redlining. The same? No, no discrimination. That's, that's fairness. But the black caucus and others are in support of the redlining. The Democrats are more in support of that than the Republicans are. They, well, first of and all, they do it because they want to it, get it, the votes. I don't, I, don't, I don't care about parties. So that, that's not what we're talking so about. Black, that, that's why I keep trying to tell you. It, caucus, throwing, throwing the liberal label on me, that's not going to work because I, I don't care about your party lines. I don't care so, about Republican, Democrat. So the black, I care about fairness. The black politicians are wrong for that, too? I think anyone that likes to discriminate is wrong, No, period. for the red line, are the black politicians wrong for that? If they, if they support it, yeah, they're wrong. Oh, okay. Go ahead, Dennis. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> Listen. You have to forgive at a certain point and not hold a grudge. You're looking for accountability from the white people. Okay, I agree that slavery, what it was, was wrong. There's no argument there. 99% of white people would say the same thing. It's over. Move on. But you're looking for, I guess, all of us to get together at a stadium and simultaneously confess (laughs) our sin? It's just not going to happen. And no, no, I don't want you guys to do that. I don't want you guys to do that. I, the but, classic <laughs> example, let me finish. The classic example of forgiveness, and this was the, what I told the call screener, look what the Jew. you had an entire nation. The Jewish people made peace with the Egyptians. Why can't you use that as an example? They don't That's hold a any good animosity point. To, to those people. And incidentally, they didn't pick cotton. They moved 10,000 ton blocks of stone. How would you like to have done that? Uh, that would have been fine. <laughs> I don't care. That again, none of that. It, none of that. Uh, I, I care about any of that at all. I'm talking about what I currently see and what I've seen through history. I've seen more people deny that there is any kind of. When you say 99 percent, by the way, that's a very high number to say You're that 99 percent about that. No, yeah, you, no, you just said you said ninety nine percent of white people would say that there that that, that slavery and, and uh, racism is wrong. I I can right yeah. now if you go if you go online if you look there at no if, you look at, the, racism. if you look at the rise in crime racism if you doesn't at, exist. See, see what I mean? There we go. Racism doesn't exist. It has never existed. Dennis, so thank so you. wait, but uh, wait, why did why did you cut him off? Because it, of time, and I want to get to some more people. He just he just said that race, slavery uh, racism was wrong. You said it doesn't, it doesn't exist. exist. It's, it's so I'm confused. Which one Let is it? Let me ask you this real fast. Do you discriminate? No. You never discriminate. No. So how do you live a life without discriminating? Because I treat people fairly. I treat, treat them as human everybody beings. Everybody the same. Every, yes. Guess what? If you're if you're white, can I can I use regular words you, on this? Can I use date, real words yeah, or no? Don't curse her. Okay. The a word. No. No. Okay. If if you're white and a douche, then guess what? I'm gonna treat you the same as if you're black and a douche, Hispanic and a douche, Asian and a douche. You love I don't white care. people. I love all people. Do you love white people? I love all people. I didn't ask about all. Do you love white people? I do. You love white people? I do. One more time. Do you love white people? I do. You better not let your friends hear you say that. Why? Because my friends don't have a problem. They know you who I am. Not let black see, lives matter. See, see what you can't see. Now look at what you're doing. <laughs> look at what you're doing. You can't. Don't but don't all twist it. I just told you. Discriminate. No. Oh, are you discriminate. Discrimin- d- discriminate. You like, discriminate. You, you or, date fat women. Yeah, I've dated fat you, women. No. Do you date fat women? No, not currently. Uh, no. You're discriminating. No, I just yeah. I'm, I'm in a relationship. Yeah. I don't have to, why? Is your wife fat? <laughs> no. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Russell, oh out of Hampton, Virginia. You're on the air, Russell. Thanks for calling. Go ahead. Yeah, thank you for taking my call there, Jesse. Yes, sir. Uh, Ty, yeah. uh, that's your guest? Yes. Um, am I correct that you said that you... Um, had children out of wedlock? Yes. Okay. And do you disagree with um, the things that Jesse said about people that have children out of wedlock? I disagree when he said that they're retarded, yes. Would it shock you to know that Jesse had a child out of wedlock? 
Okay, that doesn't it still doesn't take change the fact that the making a statement of saying having a kid out of wedlock makes you retarded. But doesn't that kind of show his hypocrisy that he has those strong values and those strong opinions? When oh, of course. But but that's but that's what I'm trying to tell you, dude. If, well, if somebody, when I had the kid out of wedlock, I didn't have those values. No, I was see, retarded. No, but dude, but do you see I my was point though? Retarded. Do you see my point? Do you see my okay, point? But, the the but, hypocrisy, uh, the, the hypocrisy the right anger. there. He just he just pointed it out just now. I had the anger. I was retarded. I would never do okay. that again. Are your kids and, retarded? Um, no, my son didn't have a kid out of where I got married. Thank you. Okay, but, but, but was he retarded? I overcame. Wait. I overcame okay. that, and so I taught him different values. Hey, thanks for, thanks yeah. for pointing that out, bro. Yeah, that's real good, Russell. Thank you, buddy. Um, my first son was born out of wedlock when I was 19. Thanks for that call, by the way, brother. And um, I was going to say that. That's how I know that it's retarded to have children out of wedlock, because when my son was born out of wedlock, I knew that he was going to suffer because he would not be able to be with his father, right, and his mother. And so I got a lawyer, I tried to get him, and it didn't work out because she fought against it. And she was angry, and she fought against it. As a result, my son became angry, right? But he and I worked it out now because he has forgiven me. But because my values changed, that meant that my morals might change, so my mentality and everything else changed. And I knew not to make another baby out of wedlock, and I encouraged him to do the same thing. So he got married. I have nothing against marriage. Get married if you want to get married and have a kid. That's fine. Right. If you want to do it the traditional way, great. I'm all for that. That's the right way to go. No, no, it's a traditional way. When you, you say the Christian? right way, you can't say the right way. Are you a Christian? I wouldn't call myself a Christian, no. You believe in God? I do believe in God. I believe, in, I believe that there is a higher power. That's what I believe. Is that God? If you want to call him God, Buddha, whatever do, do you want you to call, call him. you call him God or you call him Buddha? I call him God. Uh, but again, uh, there's so many different de- no, definitions of God. No, there's not but one God. Right. And, and how do we know and who that God is? Ain't Buddha. How do we know who that God is? <laughs> how do we know that? I know that for sure. How do we know what that God is? Let me ask you this fast. So you're not a Christian, right? No, I wouldn't. I, I don't, if you, I don't understand you? how you would. What, what, what would qualify what me as you? being a Christian? What are you if you're not a Christian? I'm a spiritual person. What does that mean? That means that I believe that there's a higher power that is out there that helps us all. And I can't define whether it's uh, God, Allah, Buddha. Uh, so you don't know, you believe in a God that you're not sure which one it is, because no one knows what it is. Yeah, and we know what it's not. It's not Buddha. No, we don't know that. Uh, we don't know any of that. No, none of us know. We any know of for that. sure. Not none Buddha. of us know any of that. You know it's not. None Buddha. of us know any of that. Do you that. think it's Louis Farrakhan? None, none, none of us know any of this. No, it's not Louis Farrakhan. <laughs> none of us know. Any and it's of not Allah U Abba either. Okay, man. Are we thank done you with for the coming, calls? Thank you for coming back. Thanks. Will you come back? You know what, man? I had more fun this time than I did last time. I know, yeah, last I time, like I that. honestly was like, I didn't know. You care at all last time. <laughs> you care. Have you seen it on TV? I did. I watched you, it. Were you ashamed? No. Why? <laughs> Thank you, folks. Bye. <laughs>